Well, I can't imagine um, doing something like this without the help of Landcare. We knew nothing about feral pig management, um, so, so to speak. We were able to um, all learn together and um, you know they had the sources for us and, and also the insurance as well and other groups with um, other knowledge that we can share between us. My name's Scott Leslie. I'm from Guthall Station, north of Houston. Guthall Station is about 40 k's north of Houston. Um, it's along the boundary of the Mallee Cliffs National Park. 57,600 hectares in size. We run a self-replacing merino flock. We also grow wheat, barley and pulses. Yeah, we became aware of feral pigs when we visually saw them um, and also I guess some wallows in the dams. I went to a LLS um, invertebrate control day at Homebush uh, where I was lucky enough to bump into Barry Kelly. I was just having a yarn to him about that we've got pigs and, and he dropped in and um, yeah, lent me a few um, baiting stations and some cameras. And uh, yeah, I've been in, um, involved in uh, land care and uh, um, pig programs ever since. Yeah, people don't realise just what a feral pig can do. Um, they don't see them, but they're the top of the tree as far as predators go, and they just destroy. They'll follow you around, waiting for it to drop a lamb, and they'll just gulp that lamb down, and there's just nothing left to show for it. They love the wetlands and those type of areas where they breed and habitat because of plentiful food supply. So in their hunt for protein, they'll root up all the ground and damage all the ground for roots and plants and completely destroy areas the size of a football field a great transmitter of disease that not affected by many of themselves, but any of the mosquito-borne or blood-borne diseases, lepto, brucellosis, Japanese encephalitis with the mosquitoes, and heaven forbid if foot and mouth ever got into Australia, being a hoof type animal, they will spread that through the country so quickly. Our group, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it would be above 30 members. Um, not all landholders, some are, some aren't. It's called Houston, Houston Regional Landcare. Earl. My name's Tell O'Shea and I work for Western Landcare. I'm the project officer here in the Western Region and it's my job to sort of manage the bigger on-ground projects with the, the Landcare groups in our region. I think the, the most important thing about this project is that because of the location of the Houston Regional Landcare Group, you're right on the edge of the horticultural zone from the Murray River and so the utilisation and the management types that are going on here are all different. So one property might have almonds and then there's grapes and then there's grazing and cropping. And so to try and tee up and coordinate all of these properties to be doing this pig project at the same time is just impossible. Like their workloads are all too different. But by that group coming together and deciding, well, we've got a problem here anyway, it needs to be done. How can we do it? And then they just worked out that, well, we just need to get someone in to do the project for us. Feral pig projects need to be run over a broader scale. Working with the land care groups involves a lot of landholders in a tight area and we could go from one property to another. Everyone's involved and we achieve tremendous results. Yep, so we're busy as farmers. There's always a job that has to be done yesterday um, and pig control isn't always at the forefront of that. So as a group, we um, engage with a um, professional pig control expert, Barry Kelly. And uh, yeah, we're able to continue with our jobs that had to be done and also do a proper job of controlling our pigs. So working on the project with all the landholders, there was times it was just too difficult for them to get out and about. They'd be landmarking, shearing and whatever. So we could fill in the gap for the landholder. The problem we had, which developed through the land care projects, is that we had to get out to all those sites every day to keep topping up the free feed. So that led to the innovation where we needed a, a free feed station that we could leave. So instead of going to those sites every night, we could go to them once a week. So we, were running, we went from running 40 sites to, to 80 sites. Um, and then the landholders were much happier and they could invest the time to go to those sites once a week Whereas if we left it to them every night, it didn't happen because other things popped up. A really good thing about the Euston Landcare Group is that they identified this problem really early. They got motivated, they took ownership of this feral pig problem that was here and some of them didn't have a big problem, 
Some have only had a very small problem, but they identified it. And as a coordinated approach, they got cracking early and it really, really made the difference in the number of pigs that were taken out of here. Yeah, controlling the pigs, it's not just one thing, it's, it's controlling people. Uh, you've got to get the bait there, you've got to get the traps there, you've got to get the um, hog feeders there. We had some information days as well, so all us uh, neighbours around here are, are running off the same set of rules. Not only it was um, very effective, but it was also um, fairly reasonably priced as well. It, yeah, it enabled us to also learn about how to control pigs, uh, which we can carry on into future years. Landholders' most precious thing is his time. So now we can set up the pig beta that only needs attention once a week. We can spend that time educating those landholders in different areas and, and also it frees me up so we can get to a lot more landholders in the same amount of time. I definitely recommend engaging with a contractor such as Barry. Um, not only was it effective, but we also learnt along the way, which was, I guess, unexpected. Given pigs are becoming such a problem, you need to utilise every um, advantage you can. The advantage of working with a landcare group and a landcare project is you've got the support from landcare and the landholders themselves are, is the landcare group, so they have all the input to what we do in the project area and what we do on their property. That knowledge will spread throughout that landcare network and will grow to other communities and it makes the job so rewarding and we can achieve a much better result because we've got them on board, we've got them on side and you fully support landcare being involved in all these projects, whether it's rural pigs or deer or whatever it is.